Hey, hey, welcome back, everybody. This is Royal D. We're out here with that Grand Trip on one more again. This is the last race of this uh, session. I'll be getting in the Manufacturer's Cup right after this. I'm in the Toyota Cup 2. I'm in that. So this is the, uh, one of the three that I entered. Let's see how I do out here. Um, this race is, I do like the uh, Jets coming over with the, uh, the Sky Show. This game is really, really graphics are great so this is a 22 lap race 22 laps mandatory three tire three different tires have to be put on the car and that's and, uh, and that's something that plays a big point into race strategy you know when you're gonna put the tires on which ones you're gonna start with which ones you're gonna put in the middle and which ones you're gonna end the race on you, know, you could actually just run one lap on one set of tires and get back out there and be fast. So what I decided to do was, if you look to the bottom right hand side of your screen, you see the four tires, RS, RM, uh, RH, these are racing hard, racing mediums, and racing softs. So the slowest tires are the hards, mediums are next, and then the uh, racing softs are really, really sticky. So let's see how it's going. This guy didn't hit his brakes at all, he thought he'd just come through here and look at it, crazy. So, let's try five seconds. Penalties are up on high, so they really big penalties. The five second penalty slows you down to 40 miles per hour, I believe, for five seconds. Everybody else behind you doing 170 cars to catch up on you, so you, you, you're going to lose some space. Basically, the car is going to have to stop. Just a roll. So, I uh, have practiced previous to this. I'm going to show you a lot of chaos before we get to actually me racing. Because I'm nowhere to be seen up here with action. So, well, let's see why my dad and my dad just got hit and put out. Send me right to the back. So my pitch strategy, I lost the race prior to this and, and didn't even get a podium pitch and I got fourth because uh, my crew chief made a bad call, which is me. I, missed, I, I had the tires under control because I didn't practice a lot. I didn't have the fuel worked out and I put in way too much gas kept me in the pitch too long and lost my position. So with this, I've made all the corrections from that. Me and the crew got together, straightened all that out. The communication is great. And, uh, uh yes. So we just showing tires at this point. I'm flipping cars and cars. I'm trying to figure out uh, what strategy to is on. How come these guys with these, uh, Racing Sauce is way back in the pack. Racing Sauce, that's Racing Sauce. Sweet blister out there. So my pick. What uh, my strategy was for the pit was go four laps, come in and take the hard tires off because they're the slowest tires. As long as I can stay within the pack. Four, fifty. If this strategy were to get a monkey on stone, it couldn't stop me on fourth lap. Then I could go another lap or another. But I have to go at least four. After that is out the way, hopefully. I uh, hope the race can last so far all the way back up to this because it's so I had worked my I had worked my way back up to this got that right to now I'm all the way up to that so, a lot of wrecking up to this 
These guys flash their lights to try to be a distraction to you because they're not good drivers. So they're, 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 look how twitchy they are. You can see a, a, a good driver right there. So they got good no reason for this guy to be up there in front knowing that he's getting ready to stop. See? There's no reason. A lot of these guys get the penalty and they'll try to block you, wreck you, so that you can't pass them when you're coming up to this. And you'll see that later on in the race too. But uh, as I uh, progress throughout this race, I find myself in position to be somewhere where I have to be in the pack. For my first pit stop. I'm in the pack again. I'm up here, you see me racing. So I'm gonna start the race on floor. Let's see if I can get in the pits on the fourth lap like I want to. Going to be some things unfolding. I just want everybody to pay close attention to the, the, the fuel at the bottom, left hand side, and the tires on this car. All right, let's go get it out here. Peace. Okay, you see that guy, DJ, he got a two-second penalty. I passed him clean. He's still trying to come over and go and try to wreck me right here. Lucky I just got off the gas and gave him a little inch so he couldn't do me. But, uh, like I said, it, throughout the race, this guy and myself are going to be interacting like a bit. Flashing lights. I don't worry about what you're doing behind me. I don't care about that. You flash your lights all you want to. Look how twitchy he is behind me. Not smooth. So he's going to try to ram me. And, and, and it happens a lot out here. These guys with no drop, they got twitchy ears. It's crazy. That was not a pass zone. He just flew around without hitting the brakes. Almost ran into the back of me right there, but I, I happened to just kill the guy. Coming over. Just unbelievable. Can't make the corner. I'm trying not to get no damage running in the back of him. He trying to brake check me. Now, right here, I'm going to get him. What do you do? Run right into him, come straight into him. No reason. So that affected my his strategy because he just put me off the track, took me all the way back. Okay. Study pushing. Study pushing. People off the track. Throughout the whole race, this guy DJ gonna do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my pit on. Let's kill him so far in the back, messing around with him. I have no choice. I was gonna go another lap. If he wouldn't have did that to me right there, I would have went another lap trying to get away from him. 
but so I'm, I'm in the pits. See the guy in the pits too, he started on soft tires, so he's gonna be slower at the end. He put on hard tires right now. I'm gonna put on medium tires and run the real car. Fill the tank up with my side beat. And just run this four tank on these tires. Wherever the limit is, leave them or on the field. I know it's not gonna go no all the way to the end of the race. So we'll just get out here and try. We'll just get out here. I can stop dropping. You see me get back up here. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm so far in the back. If we look on the map, that's me coming down the map. I'm so far back there. I'm getting ready to turn right now on the map. I'm way behind everybody. But I never stop racing. Green flags and checkered flag races is what I'm doing. If I'm in here, I'm in. Um, I uh, know it's going to be some accidents. Somebody might get wrecked to spin around, catch a penalty. Uh, all this time off. Yeah. I already had a five second hit. Now I'm going to get three second hit. And a half a second hit. And another half. Nine seconds of pain. Unheard of to even try to nine seconds. And from last place, with nine seconds. It's a second place, three seconds. And I got three seconds to come out the pit, and I didn't even, I don't understand how I come out there facing me towards the line, so I have to immediately hit my brakes, come out the pit, and turn to the right. I coasted out, no acceleration here. But I didn't practice pit entrance and exit as much as I should. So, that's my fault. So you see me back here by myself. What I'm going to try to do is just get on a pace where I can see me chipping away at the leader. I'm not going to look at the car front because if I can chip off on the leader's face, then I know I'm going fast enough. Now, he set the fastest lap for 154402 on soft tires at the beginning of the lap. I, I chased that fast lap several times and I couldn't put down a perfect lap in all four sectors to get the time correct. So I'm just a little bit off. Just a little bit off. Oh. So we're just let the race unfold. Like I said, you can see what tires these guys are on. Uh, it makes a big difference in far as acceleration, stopping, and corner tires. The tires make a big difference. It's funny. Over all these years, got everything dialed in on this game. Uh, tire wear, the uh, slickness of the tires, different compounds. So you see this guy, he's not, he's, he's not a good driver. He's here. But because he's not a good driver, he's just trying to wreck everybody in the past. Good job, people. You can look at his times. When you look at his times, 2 and one is his fastest lap. He is really, really slow. So, like I said, he's got these guys going to 157s, 5.8s. Uh, Anything under 2 is good. I, I was averaging at 152, my fastest lap. And I asked on 153, but I couldn't put it together because I was really frustrated myself over this, this over this guy's DJ. And some other guys were really aggressive with this guy's DJ, which is out of control. So I went in the pits. They're not going to show me too much more. We're going to go through the field, let you guys see some racing. If it comes back to where I'm racing somebody again, if it's just driving around the way back like I am. I'm, I'm, I'm about three blocks behind everybody right now. I'm way back. There I go. Way, way back. See me doing a hairpin right there at the top of the map, and you can see how far everybody else is there. Probably because of DJ. So, this is your boy OG out here. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. What y'all think? Was it me just putting too much in it? Or? Did he actually come over on like We'll see him again later on. So, let's just get to the race. Let's go!
as you can see, some of these guys cross up with or some of these guys driving skills not that well. You know, and I'm very, very, very happy. You know, I should be out of this division and move up to the division that I, I should be in, which is the uh, division, and hopefully I can get to the back. Never been to the A. I never even thought I could get to the A plus, but uh, starts at E, D, C, B, A plus A. So I started at, at, at down E like everybody else. I got up to a C, but I got into some races uh, earlier this year. And these guys were really aggressive with me. We wound up with just major wrecks. It took me down from C to a D, bottom of the field. I had to work my way all the way back up to the top of the sea like I am now. So I'm trying to get up to, uh, back to the beat and then maintain my composure throughout these races. But as you guys can see by watching this, it's not easy. Some of you guys not racing, they break it. So, that's just the item, so the boy, still driving hard, I got a nice little six pack. At this point, I'm really happy. I haven't even pitted yet. So when I pit, put my next set of tires on, and I can see fifth fret now, I, I, I should be able to get a spot, regardless if he already pitted or not. So he's on racing hard, so I, I can't tell. Looks like he might get one stop. And I can't tell while I'm racing, because you can't see what tires these guys got on their cars until they actually come in the pit. You see that at the top. Left hand side, you see all the names that when they go in the pit, it'll just show you the tires they have on. It'll show you how much gas they put in there. And then it'll show you the tires they put on the car when they come out the pit. And that's the only way I could basically tell. But by that time, I'm not by the guy racing, so I, um, I don't know what the tires are tires are got on. I can usually tell by how quick I can ooh, do what I just did right there. And sometimes I could be on the same tires, these guys just don't know how to take the right apex of the corner and how to get away from it. You know, be able to slip down there. Wow, that's pretty quick. One, five, seven. One, five, eight. Yeah, that's one of the be up. <laughs> Those consistent laps, one, five, <coughs> one. <coughs> one, five, seven, three, five. So let's get back to the rest of the office, boy. Got up another pack. Let's see how I get through here. Let's go.
So as you can see, I'm getting close to my pit window right here. See what I'm gonna do. Um, I, I've showed these views of people trying after I pass them, how I can get out on them and pull away to let you know they was really holding me up. That's why I do that. He's not a good enough driver to be behind me and follow my line. Look at him. It's over for him. And who I got behind me now. Here we go. Let's see what he can do. He can ask him. Let's see if he... And, and the reason why I do that is because you can see how these guys drive. He got... He's really decent. He might catch up to me. See what... He's going to race in softs. See? He's on faster tires. So it gives him the opportunity to flash his lights. He can drive. See him twitching through the corners. He's got a controller. Or if he got a wheel, he got a really cheap one. Um, and like I say all the time, these guys that flash their lights, flash their lights when they're behind you, still distract you. And I don't, I don't, I don't even have a rear view mirror on the way I drive. I don't look at that. I would have to push a button and look back there. I ain't what I'm trying to do. So he followed me in the pits, thinking that he gonna get out there. But he came in on soft tires. I'm coming out on soft tires. There's no way he's gonna be able to keep up with me once I get the tires up to temperature. I'm gonna finish the last of the bit of race on soft tires. Uh, I came to the pit with three or four cars. Let's see how I do for the remainder of the race. I got a feeling I could get I could get back up there in the fifth. I could, I could do it. I could do it. Wait, wait, wait. What? I came off the pits in fifth. Let's go. We got a race for a finish. Let's go. I don't want to talk no more. Just watch and see what happens. As long as nobody don't wreck me, and they're going to try to wreck me. He on my bumper right now. Let's see. He is on racing mediums, catching the draft. That's the only way he got down there. But I got I got some moves coming up. I'll break early and cut the, the apex in the corner. People go out. So let's see if I can make it happen on him. I got a special spot. Like I like to pull that off at. Let's see if we can do it. This is boy out here. OG. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I love this game. So at this point, I, I, I realized that I might back up here in the front. If I didn't have 10 seconds of penalties, I would have been on the clock as the laps in front of me. By my lap times compared to his lap times, it's only like nine and a half seconds in front. That's second place in front of me right there. I, at this point, got... Tried to push a little too hard in some, some areas. I should have just stayed smooth with my time that I was put down, but I'm gonna catch myself later on and, and just settle down once I get this guy off my, my bumper right here, because you know you're gonna try to wreck me for the spot. Third place, there's five laps to go. Look at him sliding every corner. This guy's off the track coming through the corner. They're not driving like somebody I wanna get behind me, so I gotta try to get away. That's the leader up there, second place. So I'm just closer than I thought. But the race strategy uh, played out for me like I wanted it to. I had a great race. It's a little frustrated certain times with that DJ guy. 
I was able to put down some great, great moves in there, clean moves. Hopefully it moves my driver rating up so I can get out of this class, get out of C class, get up to B class. Every class higher gets a better class of racers, better race etiquette. These guys are more better drivers, way better drivers. That's what I'm oh, 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 it's here. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so this is where I'm just going to let the race go. That screen you see is going to disappear. That's what I see when I'm racing. So I put it up the entire race except for now. Take it down and let you just enjoy the rest of the race. Let's go.